sand boas. They're awesome. Look at that face. Look at it. Let me look at it. Let me focus. I'm trying. Focus. Go. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Do you like Kenyan sand boas? Me too. Kenyan sand boas get stuck sheds, and it freaking sucks. So I'm gonna tell you today how to avoid getting stuck sheds on your Kenyan sand boas. And guess what? I'm also gonna show you how to create the best environment for them ever. Hey, what are you doing? What? It's deep right there. Why wouldn't you start over here? This is an enrichment video. Yeah. All right, you're the one with the podcast. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Kevin's gonna be really pissed. Do you have a Kenyan sand boa? Are you bored by the fact that your drab desert has a sandworm in it that you can't find six hours out of the day? And it's not a graboid either. Not the fun kind of <laughs> sandworm. It's totally in there. Aren't they a fun pet? So fun. Especially if you just like staring at sand. Kenyan sand boas. <coughs> <laughs> there it is. Wee! Go away. What's this? This is, uh, this is enrichment. What's this supposed to do with that? Uh, hopefully not knock it over, is it? It's not rooted? It is not rooted. It's up. Mm. We're gonna show you how to make an amazing Kenyan sand boa enclosure. Totally enriched, super hydrated, because nobody likes stuck sheds on their tiny worm snake. We're at Sandy's Pond! We're at this awesome pond in our parking lot. What's that one's name? With the, with the, oh, this, this, <laughs> this, this, the snoot you booped? Yeah. Oh boy. So this is, this is Sandy. Yeah. And this is Smoke Show. They're so cute. They're so cute. Ah! And, what, and what's the worst thing about sand boas? They always get stuck sheds. It's absolutely horrible. Like guys, seriously, if you're keeping sand boas, you already know. And if you think it's bad getting it off something like a ball python, imagine getting it off a freaking worm with a tongue that's gonna wanna bite you because it doesn't know what the heck is going on. Horrible, absolutely horrible. Today, we're gonna figure out how to stop that from ever happening. Tell me more about the enrichment that, that we, we have here. This is, a, this is a broken cat's tail. So we've got plenty of plant diversity. So this is very important because basically what we're allowing the sand boa to do is uh, access different levels of this environment. So basically, you know, if it wants to be a sand boa and go underground, it has all these nice heavy rocks that you know nothing's gonna want to really dig through to find that then we've got you know these awesome rocks they can get on and come and bask and then you know if the sand boa wants to take a quick swim especially if it's going into shed it can also get up onto one of those awesome bits of water lettuce there it can get on the water lettuce leaves all right and uh you know it can get a little closer to the sun if it needs to get warmer because they do like high temperatures it's just there's so many different options i mean could an option be to go out to the parking lot i mean it certainly could be but when you have all of this why what? go over there? Right. Are you not concerned about the frogs and whatever other creatures are dwelling inside of this pond? Like the Loch Ness Monster? Well, there's, I don't know what's in here, Me but either. it's overgrown. It so is very, pretty overgrown, which is perfect. Look at all this extra enrichment that nature has provided us. And look at the cool blue bucket in the background. That's filtration. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what are you doing? What? We gotta put it in the water. It's part of the enrichment. Yeah, but but it's deep right there. Why wouldn't you start over here? Oh, you just, I mean, sink or swim, bro. This is an enrichment video. Yeah. All right, you're the one with the podcast. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh no. Where'd he go? I think they're playing with him. Kevin's gonna be really pissed. All right guys, so that was enriching our Kenyan sand boa in an awesome water feature with some awesome, really pretty koi fish. I mean, who doesn't like pretty koi fish? So if you like this video, make sure you give it a like, you leave a comment down below, tell me how you would enrich your Kenyan sand boa. And of course, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know every single time we upload a video. <sighs> I hate that we have to film this part of the video, but uh, how should you really keep your Kenyan sand boa? In a pond. Oh. Cut. <laughs>
do you want to be like, hey guys, so you know, we didn't, you should probably not keep them in a pond oh, and avoid yeah, yeah. predatory fish and stuff. Yeah. It's probably yeah. bad. Probably not a good idea. Don't have big koi. Don't, don't yeah, don't do that. Yeah. They'll, they'll eat your Kenyan salmon. Right. Yeah, we lost uh, like 12 of them today, so. Oof. All right, guys, so just in case anybody really thought anything terrible happened, no Kenyan Sambos were harmed in the making of that video. And, of course, it's not a good idea to keep a Kenyan Samboa in a pond full of koi. Not a good idea. Uh, you're definitely going to want an enclosure that's pretty simple because they are a fossorial species. They're going to bury themselves. They're really only going to come up for food and water, maybe during a shed. Um, so you can certainly use sand. You can use an aspen uh, substrate. Um, or eco earth, dried eco earth. You can use a bunch of different substrates. Don't use primarily water. It's not good. It's funny, but it's not good. Let's fix that. What kind of what kind of snake is this? It's a Kenyan sambo. Yeah. Yeah. Is it very bright right yeah, now? Yeah, it's super bright. All right, so pretend like it's not. Hey guys, do you want to enrich your koi? Give them. Oh boy, Kenyan samboas. You want me to just keep throwing them in, or do yeah. you want to keep redoing the... Um, all the big ones here. Oh, good. Oh, put the box down. Oh, <laughs> <no>. Cheating! <laughs> Alright. Oh, fuck, it's here. Time for old smoke show to hit the road. Look at that. Oh. Enrichment. Oh. <laughs> look at Look at that. Look at it. Oh, oh, oh! Oh God! Oh. <laughs> what's what? I think I they like each other. I, oh. And this has been enriching Kenyan sand boas with frogs. Just got the whole thing down. Damn. Oh my goodness. Savage. This is my. My Kenyan sand boa, Sandy, and um, you know I've been thinking. These Kenyan sand boas, life isn't all that interesting. It's basically in a bin of sand, and for so many times now, poor Sandy, I feel has not been enriched appropriately, nor has Sandy ever had an appropriate shed. And of course, I gotta say it, no Kenyan sand boas were harmed in the making of this video. Night crawlers can't say much about. <laughs> about 20 of them. <laughs>